Okay, dear students. So let us see what is there in this question. A satellite X of mass M orbits the Earth with a time period of capital T. What will be the orbital period of satellite Y of mass 2M occupying the same orbit as that of X? So as we all know that the time period of the oscillation of the revolution is independent of the mass of a satellite. So in just one go I can say that the answer will be capital B because uh, the time period does not depend upon mass and so it will be same in, in the case of both of the satellites. But is there any way to prove it? So let us see. I would be giving you that also. Let us see. First of all, we know that the formula for the orbital velocity is given by gm by r square root. So this is the formula for the velocity of the satellite when it is orbiting in the orbit around the planet. So that will be given by root of gm by small r. And uh, the time period will be given by 2 pi r divided by the orbital velocity that will be given by this so in simple terms it will be like this and r and gm i am keeping like this only and r i am clubbing the powers like this is having a uh, half as its power and this r is having one as the power so uh, overall it will be one plus half that will be three by two and on squaring this equation, generally we write this equation, like in our books, generally you will find this formula, r cube, and we will prove that t square is directly proportional to r cube. Now, as per this formula is concerned, the complete formula is concerned, so we can see that the time period of the oscillation or the revolution does not depend on the mass of the satellite, which will be given by small m, but on contrary, it depends on the mass of the planet itself and the radius of the orbit. Yes, but it is independent of the mass of a satellite. Uh, also, you can see that our International Space Station, if we consider, now obviously that is much more bigger than uh, a satellite, isn't it? International Space Station I'm talking about. And that space station is much more bigger. It's having ma massive mass. Even then, it is having the same time period and it is moving with the almost the same velocities and everything is normal. So, uh, that is explained by taking an example also. So, this is how we do this question. Even now, if you have some doubts, please do let me know in the comment section. So, this is Professor Varun. All the best.